Let's begin, shall we? I don't have much to say, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. Are you planning on going to college after you graduate or entering the workforce? I see. Well, if you've given serious thought to your decision, then I believe that is what you should do. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this decision is yours and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But to be honest, I'm quite confident in you. You've really matured over this last year. I'm sure you're aware of it as well. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful senior year. Let's see. Uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you. Hmm? I'm sorry I went off on my own. It's nothing, really. I just needed some time to think. When I finally calmed down after New Year's, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and embarrassed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him ten years ago either, and I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. You know, in the past if I didn't understand something I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But since I've decided to live, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. However, there is one thing I've come to understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death, but... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet, but I want to learn the answer, and I think I can, if I'm with you. So please, Please take me with you. I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with you to the end. Please. <sighs> Thank you. Got it. 
Hi, how was your day?
Okay. Don't worry. The shells on the floor are only blanks. There is no gunpowder in them. So, what do you think of my room? Are you surprised? To be honest, I was hesitant to invite you here. I have no heartwarming or pleasant decorations. It's hard to believe that I once thought this room was normal. But that's why I wanted to show it to you. As you can see from the decor, I'm a machine. I'm not like human women, such as Yukari-san or Mitsuru-san. That used to make me sad. But I figured something out. There's something only I can say, because I'm unable to die. I will never leave you. No matter how or when your life comes to an end. At that moment, I will be at your side. You will remain in my heart. Oh, yes. Um, will you accept this? It is one of the parts that had to be replaced after I collapsed at the Moonlight Bridge. I asked Mitsuru-san to have it sent here. I have changed since then. I'm not afraid, and I won't give up. I'll get back on my feet as many times as it takes. I'll fight by your side and protect you. This is the proof. I wanted you to hold on to it. It's a part of me. If to live means to spend time with people, you forged relationships with. Then, I want my relationship with you to be the strongest of all. My connection to you is my reason for living. The thing that's most precious to me is to be at your side. task. At the base of my neck, behind the knot of the ribbon, 
My most important component is located there. The source of the artificial psyche that makes me who I am. My emotional engine. The Papillon Heart. It's extremely delicate. So I am forbidden to expose it outside of the laboratory's clean room. I want you to touch it. If exposed to your skin oils and cells, your genetic information will most likely be burnt into it. Even so, I want you to do this. I want to leave indelible proof in this body of the understanding that you and I have reached. Not as a memory that can be erased, but as something permanent. Something irrevocable. Happy. Well then. Oh, um, since you'll be coming into direct contact with my heart, I... I apologize in advance if I say something odd or make unusual noises. As a precaution, I will cut off motor functions to my arms and legs. Well then. Um, will you untie my ribbon? You were in your room all this time?
You know, future consultation is coming up. Yeah, what are we supposed to say during all that? <laughs> oh, Koro-chan. Aw, if you sleep wherever you want, you'll catch a cold. Huh? Hmm? What is it, I guess? There's a miniature camera near the ceiling. It's been camouflaged. What? Does that mean it's been recording whoever walks past here? Oh, yeah. I forgot that you can check out anywhere in the dorm from the command room. Does that mean one has been placed in each of our rooms as well? Uh, I never thought about it. But probably so. I used the system last year. Huh? Is that true? <laughs> well, you need a key to use it, and I doubt any of the guys would dare look inside our rooms. Oh. They did? I'm gonna kick the living crap out of them before Nix can get his hands on them. Yukari-san, your vital signs are fluctuating. Are you in danger of... dying of shame? Anyway, we don't need that stupid system anymore. Let's ask Misuru Senpai to have it removed. You're right. The camera's recording right now. Hello? Let's do this. I'll show you what I'm made of. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 